Hey Capricorn, how you doing? I'm going to be doing your reading here for mid-July, and we're just going to jump right into it. It is a general reading, right? So take what resonates, leave the rest out. What do we got going on here for Capricorn? What's coming up here for Capricorn? What messages do we have for Capricorn? If you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below. Let's see here. First card out, we have the Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Let's see what's crossing. The moon. We have that Capricorn full moon right around the corner as well. Let's see. Recent past. We have the Ace of Swords. Somebody's missing you. I mean, this could be your energy. All right. So someone, you could be missing someone. Could be both ways here. Your focus is justice, Libra energy. You kind of know something. Or you feel like that you feel like they're you feel their energy. It's like that. It's like you you feel some you know, maybe you're more emotional here in the past, um with the ace of swords and justice here with the moon crossing you with the five of cups. There for some of you Capricorns, you you went through uh, a deep feeling here. Like you've been um getting in touch with your emotions of how you're feeling, but I feel like you're getting that other your person's energy. So whoever you're thinking about here. Um, it feels like you're picking up on their energy here. Let's see the um, possibilities. Somebody's very emotional, though, with the Moon card and the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups here, it's like they feel a lot of regret. It's like, uh, but it's also disappointment. It's like they they feel sad that something didn't work out for them, um, and then now they're starting to see you. Okay, let's see possibilities. We do have the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be someone that you did live with in the past or have known for a very long time four of wands you know it's like um you do also feel very comfortable with this person so let's see near future king of pentacles near future here this is your energy but it kind of feels like you have the six of swords but that's too many cards i'm not going to take it but um six of swords this is someone coming towards you but it's like you are moving into the King of Pentacles energy here. Okay, so this is just kind of doesn't matter male or female, just kind of going into your own element. You're, you're kind of focused on your finances here, because it's like you can see in the picture too. It's like this person, you know, is holding on to their pentacles. They're focused on their stability. They're focused on success. They they have some sort of vision into a different different path. You can see how his head's turned here. It's kind of looking into a different area, a different. Uh, wanting something new here, but at the same time it, you got this other energy that's been wanting you So let's see what's going on in your power. What's going on in your feels here for Capricorn? We have the nine of Pentacles so that kind of confirms like you're moving towards your independence your stability here um, You're focused on yourself. It's it's not like in a bad way either. It's kind of more like I got to take care of things. This is the time to make things happen. Um, you know, it's like whatever you're putting your, your energy into, it's like you're seeing results. Um, better communication with other people. You feel like there's other people being attracted to you. You could have more options now than you have before, or you will be getting more options. But again, it goes back on this other connection is missing you here. Let's see. Let's see your environment. Now, for some of you guys, you know, if you're not dealing with anyone, um, and you have no one else in your in your thoughts here. It's just you. I mean, it's with the moon card crossing you in the five of cups. It's like you know you having this realization with the ace of swords here that um, you know maybe you did put a lot of time and energy into something, and you feel kind of disappointed that nothing really came from it, and um, and you're starting to see um, you know different things here. You're moving towards a different. You're pursuing something else and it's working out for you whatever it is so maybe this is a for some of you capricorns maybe this is you're leaving a you know an environment a work environment some others in you know situation that wasn't working and you're starting to move towards something that you really like to do and it's starting you're starting to see results from it okay so for some of you capricorns that's what i see um let's see Let's see your environment. What is going on here in your environment for Capricorn? 
the three of pentacles, you, you're starting to really work hard towards something else. Let's see. You're starting to work towards something else here. Let's see. Hopes and fears. Eight of pentacles. You, you're focused on work in here. You're making something happen. I don't know what you're doing, but you're. it's looking pretty good. Let's see the overall outcome, though, for Capricorn. And it is a future card, so you can always change it, but... Overall outcome is the five of wands. See, I mean, you knew I felt like some sort of, um, you know, conflict, jealousy, competition, something like that coming out. Um, but you're just kind of focused on yourself. It feels like your past uh, readings I've been doing. It's like I do see you becoming successful. I see you kind of moving away from the past situations. And this could be a lot of situations. Not everything's going to involve connections. OK. Um, or relationships or romantic connections and things like that. So, okay, it just could be you're leaving, you know, just a environment that you're, you weren't too happy in, you know. And um, you made this commitment to yourself. It's like you, you had this truth, Ace of Swords, um, and you're just like, you know what, I need to, you know, do what I want to do or pursue with what I want to pursue. Start, you're focusing on just kind of like doing things to, that make you happy. Okay, but it feels as though in this process, it feels like in this process here that you, you're you're attracting people here that are a little bit jealous of you with the five of wands here. It's like, um, this could be, you know, co-workers, uh, friends, family members. Um, this could just be gossip too because you're kind of focused on something else. And maybe the reason for that is maybe you're just talking to people less. You know, maybe you're not having the time to go out as often. Um, it's it's one of those things, but it's like making people think and talk and like, you know what, what's going on with Capricorn, you know? It's like they don't understand what your plans are, and nobody's going to understand that, right? You don't have to share to the world what you want to do. It's always up to you, and you should be keeping this stuff silent anyway because a lot of people start stealing ideas, right? So it feels as though there's an energy here of you focusing so much on what you're trying to build. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, really working hard here. And um, you're disconnecting from others, which is bringing more gossip than you need to. But it feels as though you're starting to realize who your real friends are, who you can really trust, and so, you know, and who you can um, rely on that can support you and things like that. And it feels like your group is getting smaller, you know? You're starting to realize that uh, in order to get what you want, you have to separate yourself and it's like uh you're feeling this loneliness as well and that could be the moon card being your challenges like you're tapping into this emotion of uh realizing that in order to like i said get what you want there's a sense of loneliness um and people don't understand whatever you want to do here and um and the result is they feel like you're too good for them you know but it's them kind of painting this um painting this fake picture, but it's also a realization of who you can trust. It feels like there's a lesson going on here for you, Capricorn. There is definitely a change in your finances. Because remember, in your power here is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you are, your finances is going to kick up quite a bit. And I feel like other people are being jealous or going to see you be successful. And it's like they feel like they should be with you, you know, or they feel like, you know, you're too good. But you're not even bragging about it. You're just kind of doing your thing. So that's what I see. Um, now, I kind of, you know, it does feel like it's more of your energy here with the moon card. Now that I'm seeing the whole outcome and all that stuff here. But um, but for some of you guys, there is someone here that is thinking of you, though. I do see that. I do feel that here. Um, let's just get three cards overall in this reading. It feels pretty straightforward in terms of, like, um, you know what you're what you're working on you're you're definitely focused so i would say keep at it but uh let's just see the moon here let's see what's going on with the moon for capricorn what's the move moon involving we have the ace of pentacles and the star i mean with the page of cups here i mean this could be just you cap i mean this is um you know, this is you looking at a new opportunity, following your wish. Um, you went through a period of healing. There's a sense of something new here coming in for you. Um, but, um, yeah, it's like you're just following that. It, it, it's just a challenge of you, you know, going through what you really want. It's making that decision is what the challenge is, is really. Um, because you're really needing to 
you're making a decision to move forward, but it's like not everyone can come with you. You know what I mean? So that's what's going on here. Let me see the five of wands because I want to see what this conflict's all about. We have the tower. Okay, so there is something here where, you know, you're going to have some sort of real realization that the people that are around you are not, like I said, just not the people that you want to have in this new, new, new journey. You know, if this is a new business you're starting or you're focused on something here, you're just going to, for a lot of you guys, you're just realizing that you're kind of separating yourself from the past and it's like less and less people. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, I feel like you're going to start realizing that or you are realizing that. And it's better for you, though. You know, it's really letting you focus on your success, focus on your pentacles. Um, it's it's helping you focus more to build whatever you want. Because, again, opportunity, the star, it's like you're moving towards some sort of wish fulfillment. And then you have the magician at the bottom of the deck here. So you are in this manifestation mode here um, to get what you want. And it's a, it's a good energy to, to go into, and especially into Leo season. It's... Um, you're going to see big changes with your finances, okay? I'll tell you that right now. And this is not for someone just, you know, sitting there waiting for finances and, and money to come towards them. This is someone that is really putting the work and the hard work into creating what they want here. Um, you know, so it's looking good, all right? So Capricorn, that is your reading here. If this resonated, hit the like. Uh, subscribe if you guys have not already. And I'll be coming out with some more videos here, so... Um, let's see what the energy is looking like, and until next time, we'll see ya. You guys have a good one.